Meghan Markle and Harry told they could have settled legal claim in cheaper, quicker way. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could have settled their legal action against newspapers in a quicker and cheaper way, according to the chairman of the Independent Press Standards Organization, IPSO. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are starting a new life in the U.S. after quitting royal duties, are taking legal action against associated newspapers and a picture agency. But Lord Fox QC pointed out they could have used Ipso's arbitration scheme. The Ipso chairman said, if I had a complaint against newspapers I am not sure I would go to the expense of hiring shillings. They could have come to us. The royal family has regularly used us and are very much aware of what we can and cannot do. Speaking to the Times, he added, but we don't preclude people from using a lawyer in a conventional way. Ipso is the independent regulator for newspapers and magazines in the UK. It provides an arbitration scheme which can be used to rule on disputes between two sides. It involves an impartial media law barrister making a decision on the claim. Fees are a maximum of just £100 and rulings are quicker than going to court. Damages of up to £60,000 and costs of £25,000 can be awarded. The Queen's grandson and the former actress are now living in America with their one-year-old son Archie. Meghan and Harry plunged the monarchy into a period of crisis in January when they revealed plans to step back as senior royals. The Queen held a summit with Prince Charles, Prince William and Harry to discuss the Sussex's future roles. It was later announced they would walk away from being working members of the royal family. They officially ended royal duties on March 31st for for financial and personal freedom. The couple have bought an £11 million mansion in celebrity hotspot Santa Barbara. Earlier this month, it was confirmed Harry had paid back the £2.4 million of taxpayers' money used to renovate the Sussex's UK home Frogmore Cottage. The couple faced a backlash when the huge cost of the property's makeover fell to the taxpayer. A source has said they are no longer receiving financial support from Charles and saw the payment as another significant step in their new life. This came after the couple signed a lucrative deal with Netflix to make shows for the streaming service. The couple will be producing a range of content that informs but also gives hope. Meghan and Harry took over funding for their own security when they stood down as senior royals.